Hey guys, so my name is Bonja Sutton. I'm 29 years of age. I'm an entrepreneur and also a student, a full-time student and a full-time mom. So my son is seven and he's amazing and he taught me a lot about life as well. But you see something called toxic relationships that taught me the hardest lesson I've ever had to learn in my life. And I don't think anybody deserves to go through relationships where you're not appreciated you're not respected you're not loved and you think or you're naive to the fact that that's going on because you so want to be loved and you so want to have that fairy tale you know ending that you forget to watch at those red flags you forget that you are more than a relationship you're worth more than just trying to find a man and I didn't see that. I was um, 17 taken 18 when I was entering my second relationship. My first relationship was right through secondary school. And I realized I wasn't getting the attention I wanted. I was really attention driven. I was always trying to um, get my boyfriend at the time to give me attention. And he was focused on um, leaving to go to the army and other girls. Because as they say, it was like both of us were virgins and then... We ended up doing the deed and so we were very inexperienced about life and he started to see life differently to how I saw it and I just said it was time to move on because we weren't on the same page and I made that decision and he he wasn't acceptant of it but eventually he had to you know go leave the country because of the army so he didn't really think of it, think of it as anything too big because the world out there would have been something you know of more interest to him so moving on i went to my second relationship and that is where i met this handsome young man that i fell in love with instantly from you know from the get-go he was very persuasive he was very you know he had all the chat you know them boys had to have the chat he had a real chat and he wasn't really he didn't seem to be too much of a girlis if you don't know what a girl is, he didn't seem to be somebody that really, you know, run around. He seemed to be somebody that was looking for a serious relationship. Seemed to be is the biggest um, thing there because he wasn't and he still isn't. And it takes a while for somebody to acknowledge that. And because of that situation that we went through, I'm, I'm really sad that he didn't. What situation I'm talking about is the fact that we were in a two-year relationship starting off with the honeymoon stage starting off with the great you know coating and chilling and going to football going to his football games and bringing his gatorade and feeling like if i'm his wife when i'm not because we tend to you know do wifely things when we're just a girlfriend and i was in that stage i was like oh my god this boy is like everything i ever dreamed of and more and then flesh took play and when you start making love especially outside of marriage that is when your mind plays tricks on you that is when your mind takes hold of of um not really your mind but your body takes hold of how your mind works and how your mind reasons things and i wasn't thinking rational i wasn't thinking that you know he could he could be a potential threat to not just you know my well-being not just to my mental health but also to my life so it started off well the toxicity of the relationship started off as you know mean things being said to me oh why are you doing your hair like that why are you wearing that i don't looking good you don't looking good um why you can't just be simple why you had to be all all of that i was like but that's me i you met me like that so why do you want to change me then he started trying different things when we went out together um he he would try to make people avoid me he always wanted me and him to be in a specific place and if i was away from him too long he became kind of anxious kind of agitated and when that starts to happen that is a red flag people do not allowed that to be any so anything else because to me i used to think oh my god this dude loves me so much he doesn't want me out of his eyesight but no 
that is really not good because that means that he is possessive and he was definitely controlling so that happened that was just the first phase of how he started to um verbally abuse me but i would say the majority of the relationship it it started to eat away at my self-worth i was not thinking positively about myself after a while so even though it was a short um relationship it was actually three years not two years so within the last year it broke down so much different barriers in my life that i couldn't even see myself being in the relationship anymore i was just holding on to nothing and that's what we tend to do sometimes we hold on to things that are not even there so the little memories that we trying to you know say oh we had good times no stop holding on to the memories and move on sometimes it's just you know the bigger picture and i wasn't seeing the bigger picture and that fateful night um he came to my house because i started to hear rumors of um him cheating and i was really 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 upset because he was really adamant about cheating and and he doesn't like it and he finds it's really is really disgusting to know that people in relationships and they're they're hurting each other like that so i was like he can't be cheating on me you know I'm, i'm i'm trying to be the best girlfriend too so when you try to be so perfect in a relationship and you hear that someone's cheating on you you get real different so i was like you know what let me stop stringing and holding myself back in this relationship and let me move on because i was young and i i wasn't intending to get married soon or anything like that so i told myself watch it's time called him over he came over right from work and um he came and he talked to me and i was like i'm sorry i gave me a promise ring i gave him back i went upstairs i got it i brought it back i said you can have it I'm not going to be in this relationship and be disrespected anymore. I'm not going to be in this relationship and not know what's what's coming next because you start to get kind of agitated when people are so um hurtful towards you. You start to get scared about, like what else can they do? And I was becoming the aggressor now because I was so scared that he might try something. I started to get aggressive in the relationship to be like the one in the forefront. We tend to like you know want to put up this tough act so that he could feel like I'm not messing with this woman because she looks like she's dangerous or something so i was t- tired of it i was really tired and i needed to move on and get my life back together he came he listened to what i have to say i told him about the young lady i told him what i heard and from multiple people that were not little kids they were adults trying to give me direction and i was not you know listening at first but then then i took it to heed and i said yeah it's time so he's like okay okay i hear you but we don't have to break up because people don't just say things and you can't be listening to people and if you love me blah blah no it was a long conversation honestly and i had on like this sweater thing like the shorts and some like layered clothing so i had on a lot of clothing because it was really cold that night and he was not taking it he was not taking that answer he was not taking the fact that i was not gonna continue the relationship so he was like no if i can't have you nobody's gonna have you and i was like i was like laughing i was like giving this sarcastic laugh like what are you talking about are you crazy and i was thinking like he could be with this other girl so what is his problem and i pushed him and he was like blocking the way for me to go back up to my mo- my house and i pushed him again and and the second time i pushed him he came back and he paused and he pulled out something from his pocket <laughs> and before i could figure out what he pulled out from his pocket he swung it and i just reacted i was like you're not going to swing nothing at me and i like he ran after he did that he ran so i ran behind him and i was running you could imagine running behind somebody you don't even know what they did to you just running behind them out of like anger and frustration and, and he ran out my gate and while i was running i felt like this this warm liquid like run down my stomach and i grabbed it and i was like Shit. I cannot believe that the warm liquid that was coming down on my stomach 
was blood because this guy pulled out his work knife so remember he came by me right after work he pulled out his work knife and he swung it at my stomach and because I had on layers of clothing it ripped through my clothing and cut me but it was just skin deep it wasn't deep enough to show or to expose my internal organs but I didn't know that I just grabbed hold of my stomach like for dear life because I was like what what is happening I felt like my world was crashing around me I felt so angry I felt like I don't even know how to start to tell my parents my dad was already you know upset about the fact that um I was in this relationship and always complaining yet still I stayed and look no so that's one thing if you're complaining about your relationship a lot and you're having problems don't stick and wait for something to happen get out like there's nothing else that you could be waiting on there's nothing else worth you know going through all that pain for